Hello, this is Miss McMillan, and this is your fourth video for how to build your digital writing portfolio on Google Sites on an iPad. So if you're watching this, you've already created your site, you have your required pages in a horizontal navigation bar, and you've built your home page. Um, the dedication page is optional, so if you don't plan on using that, it should not be on your navigation bar. Dear Reader, press on that. This you want to do after you add your writing, and the directions are on the hyperdoc I gave you, but it's um, where you explain to readers what they're going to find on this writing portfolio. And then, so you do that after you add your writing. Um, the first piece of writing you want to add is narrative. Let me just show you how it works. So to add content, you press the pencil in the upper right corner, and then you're going to add your, um, you're going to embed your narrative that you wrote here in the content area. It should already be revised and edited. It should be ready to um, publish. So um, you want to leave some space for your reflection at the top. So press return a couple times and then you press insert. You press drive. Choose document because it's from your Google Docs. And then you're going to search for your narrative in your documents. So um, you can probably search by the keyword narrative. I'm going to put example narrative because I remember that mindset example on it. Hmm, that doesn't work. Let me try narrative. I have a lot of things in my um, drive, so it's that's a lot to find. Um, let me see. Example. Let's try that. Here we go. Okay, then so choose the one you want. Now here, this is important. Unclick include title. Unclick that and unclick, well, you can leave the border if you want. Leave the height, what it is, and then the width, leave it empty, okay? Because that means it will take up the whole page. Press save and then it's embedded, but we can't see it yet, which is fine for now. What I suggest that you do is press the center button. So it's the third from the left so that it's centered on your site, and then click off of it into the white. Here up is where, you're, where you will put your reflection, and so you wanna read the directions for what goes in the reflection, but it starts with what is the title of the piece and what is it about. So for example, you would say, um, this narrative titled, this narrative, comma, titled, and then you would put the title of it, whatever it is, in quotation marks, is about, and then you would um, write your reflection. It'll be about a paragraph, okay? But let's see how this looks. Press save. Okay, so here's my narrative. It does not have the title um, listed on the border because I don't want your last name visible. Also notice my last name's not in my heading because I that's how it should be published. Um, I have an image that I put on my narrative, just which looks nice. And then you just take one finger and you can you can read the whole thing, okay? Um, that's pretty much it. You do the same thing for explanatory um, and you do the same thing for argument when we write the argument. You do the same thing for choice. And then the about me is optional and you read the directions on the hyperdoc for what to include there. It's your about the author. Remember, you don't want a photograph of your face because we don't want any personally identifiable information. Okay, this concludes your video, so um, make sure you have your directions out and happy